Well, I have sad news to share with, uh, with you today. And that is our dear friend, a great general of the faith, Dr. Morris Cirillo, went home to be with the Lord over the weekend. 88 years of age. Wow. He certainly lived a long life. Our prayers are with uh, his wife, Teresa, his son, David, his daughter, Susan, for all of the MCWE Marcerella World Evangelism staff. And I have personally selected a video to highlight his life in ministry. It's about four minutes long. But you know what? This man deserves that honor. We so loved him here at Daystar. And Joni, we want to honor a great man of God. You know, his ministry spanned around the world. And there were countries, I mean, people from every country that were ministered to by Dr. Morris Cirillo. 70 years plus of ministry, That's right, I that's think. right. All right, let's watch this together. We celebrate the life of Dr. Morris Cirillo. Tonight, I will read to you from the Holy Bible. This is God's voice to us. Miracles of God are going to take place in your life tonight. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. Now in the name of peace, reach out and get my ear. Say that. Oh, Lord, God. I once was blind. But now I see. This is your time to turn from everything in this world and to receive the power of the blood of Jesus. I believe this is your turnaround moment. And you shall be my people, and I will be your God! I heard him like the clap of thunder, he said to me, Son, build me an army! The greatest stories often begin where lesser ones would end. The story of Morris Arillo should have ended when he was abandoned in a Jewish orphanage. Or perhaps when anger and despair drove him to the brink of suicide. But God has a way of using unlikely people to change the destiny of the world. To this troubled place, God sent a Baptist nurse named Ethel Kerr. She told Morris about Jesus, and Morris felt something real for the first time. So intense grew his need to know more about Jesus that Ethel risked everything to smuggle him a Bible, and thus his destiny changed. His new faith eventually discovered Morris was forced to leave the orphanage since he refused to renounce this Jesus he barely knew. Ethel Kerr helped him find a foster home and took him to a church service. There, on an otherwise ordinary evening, Morris committed his life to Christ. Suddenly, he found himself in the clouds, surrounded by the presence of God. Looking down, Morris noticed two large footprints through which he could see people from every continent, every race, every creed, burning, lost, and hopeless. He recognized their pain and answered yes to his calling. Morris became God's servant to preach salvation and deliverance to the nations. 
The next chapter of his life was one of immense joy for the young man, preaching, attending Bible school, ordination, and wooing the beautiful Teresa to become his wife. Eventually, she said yes. From then on, they served God together. Aww. What a great man of God. Yeah. He will be greatly missed, but Joni, we will see him again. Yes, we will. And probably sooner <laughs> than later. Yeah. In case to see my dad, because my dad is already there. So I think about it's gonna that's what makes heaven a wonderful place is those that we have known and loved that have made an impact on our life and are with the Lord. We will see them again.